Hello, Curious. Every Friends fan remembers Gunther. By some, the sarcastic coffee shop manager who was in love with Rachel was dubbed the seventh friend. The actor behind the role was James Michael Tyler, who for three years had battled prostate cancer and who on the morning of October 24th had passed away from the disease. Who was the actor behind one of the most beloved characters in the series? What other productions did he appear in? How did he secure himself a part of a series regular on the hit sitcom rather than just an extra like he was originally scripted to? And what did his personal life look like? Stay with us until the very end as we look back at the life of this actor. As many of you will surely remember, May 27th had marked the day that Friends' the reunion had aired, much to the delight of all the fans of the hit sitcom. For years, many had begged for a reboot or revival of the show, even if for one season, so that they could see what the lives of Rachel, Ross, Monica, Chandler, Phoebe and Joey had looked like after many years. While the never happened, we did get the reunion special, in which the cast, joined by a plethora of famous celebrity guests, had reminiscent about their time on the hit 90s show. The excitement was also evident once it was revealed that about 29% of streaming US households had chosen to watch the show on HBO Max. If you want to know more about Friends and just how iconic the show was, you can check out our previous video by clicking on the link above. But for now, stay with us until the very end to find out more about James. Though as the show went on, one person who was announced to attend it was noticed by fans to have been absent. That was, of course, the series Gunther, played by James Michael Tyler. It was revealed that he wasn't able to attend the show in person due to personal reasons, yet he later did appear on the show via a Zoom call, which had only shown the importance of his character on the show as he was the only star allowed to participate via video call. As happy as viewers were to see Gunther on the show, some couldn't help but notice his appearance and many wondered whether the actor was seriously ill. Their suspicions were confirmed when in June the actor spoke of to Today Show and revealed that he had prostate cancer. But before we talk more about the diagnosis and what he revealed at the time, let's look back at the star's life and how he started his career. James Michael Tyler was born the youngest of five children on May 28, 1962, in Greenwood, Mississippi. Already at a young age, James was exposed to the harsh realities of life, as when he was 10 years old his father had passed away, and a year later so did his mother. After losing his parents, Tyler moved in with his sister, and in 1982 he graduated from Anderson University with a two-year degree, and in 1984 he graduated once again, but from Clemson University with a degree in geology. However, it was at Clemson that his future had started to shape a little. During his time at the university, he became a member of a student theatre group called the Clemson Players, and it was that decision that had sparked interest in him to become an actor. And so, to get more experience in that direction, he enrolled in a fine arts master's degree course at the University of Georgia, from which he graduated in 1987. For a while, James had lived in Olympia, Washington, where he worked as a car salesman. However, that was just a brief stint as later, in 1988, he headed for Tinseltown. Of course, when it comes to the entertainment world, the beginnings aren't always easy. When he had finally made it to LA, Tyler had some odd jobs. He worked as a bar back at the palace and key sold keyboards and also worked as a barista, a skill that would later greatly help him out in life. Eventually, he got to work in the industry as a production assistant on the film Fat Man and Little Boy, which premiered in 1989. Later, he had also worked as an assistant film editor. While that might not have exactly been working as an actor, it was a way for Tyler to have his foot in the door. It was in 1994 when this actor had first appeared on Friends, in the second episode of the first season. While everyone remembers Gunther and fans can hardly imagine Central Perk without him, originally the character was supposed to have just been an extra and not a series regular. But this is where James's barista experience had come in handy. Given that he was the only one who knew how to use the show's espresso machine properly, his character was given a name and a more permanent role. And given that the gang was always down at the coffee shop, so Tyler always had at least a few minutes on screen time per season. Overall, as per the actor's IMDb, he had starred in 150 episodes of the hit sitcom, but there were also another reason why he got the part that was actually entirely accidental. The thing in question was Gunther's signature peroxide blonde hair. The fact that it turned out like that was an accident. In an interview, James revealed that before his audition, one of his friends who was studying to become a hairdresser had experimented on his hair. The way we always saw Gunther was the result, and while many would have seen that as a disaster, when he turned up for the audition, it had made him stand out and the producer had liked the hair so much that they decided to keep it. And so, for the next 10 years, 
he had to keep dyeing his hair to its iconic colour. Over time, the show's writers had slowly given Tyler's character lines and involved him in minor storylines with the main characters, as well as given him a crush on Aunt Jennifer Aniston's Rachel. There had also been many iconic scenes featuring Gunther and his interactions with the cast. A fun fact for you curious, his first speaking part came in the 33rd Friends episode and it was just a simple, yeah, when asked by Ross if he had any stairs in his house. In 2015, during an interview of Good Morning Britain, James had revealed what his all-time favourite line on the show was. The line in question came from the third season, when Phoebe was dating a guy who liked to wear loose-fitting shorts and gave the main characters a clear glimpse of his privates. No one knew how to breach the subject and tell him about it, so Gunther came to the rescue saying, Hey buddy, this is a family place, put the mouse back in the house. Following his role of Gunther on the show, Tyler had other episodic roles on shows such as Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Scrubs and Episodes, in which he appeared for two episodes alongside his friend, castmate Matt LeBlanc. He had also appeared in a few films and then in 2013 he starred as Chad Levitz in Modern Music. After that, he took a break from the acting industry and it wasn't until six years later when he landed part in the gesture and the word and processing two short films that were released in 2020. Though of course, it was the role of Gunther that everyone had remembered him for and it was something that he often talked about in interviews. For the show's 15th anniversary in 2009, he had opened up a pop-up replica of Central Perk in London where for two weeks fans could come and see the show memorabilia and grab a free coffee. One of his fondest memories on the show was the last episode in which Gunther finally got the courage to tell Rachel how he felt about her. According to Tyler, he and Jennifer Aniston couldn't look at each other without bursting into tears, as the scene was very, very emotional. He also added that Aniston was fantastic to work with and that she was a great person. If you want to know more about Aniston and whether she and David Trimmer had ever had feelings for each other, you can do so by checking out our previous video by clicking on the link above. In his personal life, the actor was married twice. First, he married Barbara Chadsey in 1995, but the two separated in 2003, though it wasn't until 2014 that he filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. In 2017, Tyler had married Jennifer Carno, and the two were together until his passing. All his friends' appearances and other gigs had guaranteed him a nice sum of money, which CelebrityNetWorth.com estimates to be around $4 million. However, in 2018, the actor got some rather worrying news. As he revealed to the Today Show in September that year, he was diagnosed with stage 4 prostate cancer. He told reporters that the disease was caught at a late stage, so in reality, he knew that it would eventually get him. But for about a year, the hormone therapy that he started worked amazing and he was able to go about life regularly. But unfortunately, cancer eventually spread to his bones and spine, which led to paralysis of the lower body. He kept his diagnosis secret for three years until the interview in June 2021, where he revealed that his cancer had mutated right at the time of the pandemic. He also said that the reason he never said anything during the Friends reunion was that he didn't want to be a downer for the special moment. And unfortunately, on the morning of October 24th, James Michael Tyler had passed away aged 59. The news was announced by the actor's rep, who issued a statement about his passing, saying that if you had met him once, you had made a friend for life. Tributes for Tyler had soon started flowing in from fans as well as industry people. Matt LeBlanc, Lisa Kudrow, Courtney Cox had all taken to their social media to post tributes to the actor, with Jennifer Aniston writing, Friends would not have been the same without you. Thank you for the laughter you brought to the show and to all of our lives. So curious, have you ever seen James in any other productions besides Friends? What is your favourite Gunther quote? And could you imagine anyone else playing the iconic role? Let us know in the comments below and we will see you in our next video.